Squirtle. Okay, so um, basically um, I did a little um, homework before we started. So basically this is what we're going to do. So we have the big, we have the big circle. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's his body and his shell. Okay, and then also we're going to add a smaller circle here at the top. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so um, here with the squares and then the also the cross, this also helps us a little bit um, where the head is as well. So what we're going to do here is um, we're going to draw this one at the top. Um, but beforehand, what we're going to do here is, let me see. Wait, I'm going to stop sharing screen for a second. Okay, we're going to, we're going to move this over. <laughs> we're going to move it to Squirtle. Okay, so we see Squirtle over here. So what happened here is um, his body is not actually a perfect circle. Okay. <laughs> And this is how we know. So basically, when you're when you're drawing by yourself, or you're when you're drawing like anything else, you can also measure the width. So the same measuring thing. Mm -hmm. And if we turn that, uh, you kind of see it's a little bit smaller. Don't so hurt. yeah, so it's it, it it ends here, not exactly there. Yeah. So it's a little bit shorter. So um, that's okay. What we're actually going to do is that we're just going to extend a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then that that's going to make up the empty space. And then we're also going to measure this one. See if this one is a perfect square. Uh, kind of. -ish. <laughs> yeah, it's it's about like the head is more round than the body. The body is more like a very fat oval, kind of. Yeah. So let's go back over here. Okay. So what we're going to do here is that we're going to extend just a teeny bit. We don't need too much. Um. So we're just going to add like just this much. Okay. And then we're just going to extend the rectangle, um, but we're just going to keep the circle there for now. So basically what we're going to do here is that we're going to make this one longer. So that's what we're going to add. Like. Yay. Okay. So um, next what we want to do here is that we're going to add the head. So um, another question we want to ask ourselves is how big is the head compared to the body? Because we yeah. want to know the correct proportions, right? So um, if I kind of measure here, I'm, I'm not going to move the camera back. I'm just, I'm just going to measure by myself. <laughs> so, okay. um, so what we're going to do here is um, we're going to find the center from here to here, basically. So we're going to do a little dash. Mm -hmm not from there okay so this is the actual square so from here to there so we're trying to find the middle and then we're going to double check to make sure that it's the middle measure this compared to that so well today uh today my my horizontal dashes does not want to cooperate with me <laughs> okay so we're gonna keep this one okay and then for this one, we're actually not going to draw like a line from the left to the right. We don't need a horizontal line because we just want a proportion. So we're going to take this so here and from the base. And that's the dimension of the head compared to the body. OK, yeah. so, so we take three quarters. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Or we can also call it a third. Sorry. Yes. OK. Yeah. Right, he's like, it's just a third. It's like, okay, no, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> a third of the body. So we're going to take this. And then we're going to move it up. And we're going to move it up up there. I think so I need to move the screen up now. <laughs> up, up we go. Okay, that's, that's, that's high enough. So basically we took this proportion and then we moved it up to here. So this is going to be the base of the new square, and this is going to be the top of the new square. Do you still even see this, or is that too high? Yes. Oh, do you I still see it? Okay. Um, <laughs> I uh, thought it like went out of the screen. Okay. So that's what we want to do. So you can go ahead and take the third, and take this. Mm -hmm. Do this together. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> don't 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 just look. <laughs> We're actually going to do it. We need a head for Squirtle. Okay. It's not going to be headless. Okay. And then we're going to 
put it over here. So basically, try to get like a dimension of this. Like if you if you want to be even more precise, you can actually measure to see like what the size is. So it's about like that size. So we want this dimension, and then from here, then you're going to take the third, and then you're going to get your new spot of the top. If that if, if that makes sense. Yes. Let me know if it does not. Eat us. Yay. Okay. So um since we have that now, so what we want to do here is we want to find the edge. So the edge over here, as we see on the picture. I'm gonna show the picture again. I'm gonna show that one. Okay. So you kind of see here, so we have you see my mouse? Yes. Okay. So we see um as you can see, so we did the base. Mm -hmm. We did the top. So basically we need the, the side of the square. Basically. So you kind of see here just, just a little space. It's not too far. We don't want to put it all the way over here. That's too much. So you want just a little bit. So then that way we know where the side of his head is. So okay. if we kind of go back. Um, we can probably just draw a little line like that. It's probably good enough. Okay. And then after that, what we're going to do here is that basically we're just going to connect it. So we're going to we're gonna draw our new... Oh, I see. Horizontal line. Connect there. Yeah, so, so if we want to close off, we want to close off the square. Okay, so how will we measure? How, how do we get the, the width? I have to measure because top there. Yeah, so you're gonna yeah you're gonna use that proportion, yes, and then you're basically going to yes, very good, yeah, okay, yay. <laughs> okay, so that's what we're going to take this. Okay. And then we're going to do it this way, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I understood. And then we're gonna we're gonna draw the cross next week. <laughs> but yay! Otsukarasamadas! Thank you very much. Yay! Okay, so uh wait, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take a look and then and then and then we should be good. Okay. Here. Hey, Edesnas, Edesna, yay, yo edas. Thank you. Wow. Omedetokozaimashta. <laughs> I had it. Okay, so any any questions so far, or it's pretty straightforward? Um, no questions. I understand. No question? Okay, yeah. Well, if you have any questions, you can always um message me on Skype and stuff, and or you can always email me. So what I'm going to do now is for this week your homework. Okay. Um, what we're going to do is that we're going to do some practices. So basically, you're going to practice the same things we did today. So today what we did was we know how to correct our circles because we mm -hmm. were going to use a square. And then we also learned how to measure. Mm -hmm. And then we also learned how to compare shapes between other shapes and then find the proportions. So um, I'm probably going to give you another Pokemon because it's, it's basic shapes, right? So you just have to kind of follow exactly how the um, drawing example is. And then um, once you're finished, do mm -hmm. you have a scanner at home? You can take a picture. Yeah, that that works too. Yeah, you can you can scan or take a picture. Um, I'll send you an ex instruction about because the reason why I asked for scanning because it's completely flat and then there's no distortions. Oh, so okay. sometimes when you're taking pictures, it's kind of like sideways and it's 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 like it's unbalanced. So uh, but you can take pictures. Like I have students taking pictures on that stuff, so that works. Okay. Okay. Any so so no questions so far? It's pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Yay! Arigatou gozaimashita. Thank you. Otsukarasamadas. <laughs>